Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the next episode of Not the Fails of the Week. I do apologize for my lateness yet again. I've been very busy, but hopefully I'll be able to get things on time and plus a lot more content if the gods allow it. So let's move on with Not the Fails of the Week. This is week 78, chapter 612, the Shinobi Alliance Jitsu. Oh dear God, this is a horrible, horrible chapter. Right off the bat, I would like to congratulate Madara with a beautiful, whimsical taste of words here, by basically saying that Naruto's idea of liberating the world and actually trying to win this war is pushing the boundaries of good taste with the name, specifically meaning the Jitsu, and well done. I really do like Madara's whimsical words here. I just love his language, his attitude. It's absolutely wonderful. You don't really see enough bad guys with this kind of charisma anymore. It's been a long time, and frankly, I do enjoy it. However, things go downhill with language coming out of Obito. Once again, I don't know if this is K Kishimoto himself or it's the translators who are scanning the manga, but he says that Naruto and this whole jutsu thing is nothing more than a speed bump. To have a speed bump, you must have roads, and to have those roads, you must have cars. So how in the fuck can you have a speed bump if there are no cars? Once again, I don't know if this is actually the translation that's incorrect or it's Kishimoto himself, and I know, once again, I am pushing the boundaries of making fun of this series by picking little things like this, but it's fucking annoying to me at the very least, so bear with me on that one. But of course, there's much more dumber things, because there are a great amount of jutsu used throughout this chapter that make absolutely no sense. Bug jamming? Really? Using the bugs to jam? Jam what? The satellites? The shortwave radios? What? What are we jamming here? Vision? I don't know, you could call it a, a smoke screen or a bug screen, I don't know. But bug jamming jutsu. What in the flying fuck are you thinking? Honestly, this makes the jam radar from Spaceballs make a lot more sense than this horseshit. Honestly. Once again, I know I'm picking at it very specifically, but seriously, that is a fucking fail. I was going to make fun of the solar flare where they started at the beginning of the fight, but honestly, this is something we've seen in a lot of other episodes and a lot of other series, so I won't make fun of that. I will, however, take a little bit of pride in talking about the little Shikatema moment, where Timari is praising Shikamaru's father and saying, well done and just in an odd way seem to insinuating to her respect for the Naras, which could mean possibly there's a relationship between Shikamaru and Temari. The reason why I'm pointing to this is because I've read several fanfics where there is that, uh, that sort of respect, and it's mimicked perfectly in the canon from the fanfic, so I find that absolutely wonderful, and hopefully they'll mean better things in the future for all of us. Now once again, I've made fun of this, and it's been like a long time since I have, but the magma element. There are only a certain amount of elements, and I don't mind stretching wood as an element, and a couple of others. But seriously, magma? Why is magma an element? It's merely fire and earth. It makes no sense. Once again, I apologize for nitpicking on the smallest of minute details, but this pisses me off. But here comes the point at the very end of the chapter that makes no fucking sense. The Sarutobi clan. We've only seen about three members. We've seen Sarutobi himself, who for some reason doesn't have a first name and died. We have Asuma, who fucking died as well, leaving only Konohamaru. But apparently, the Sarutobi clan is massive. There's a bunch of other members, and they actually are on the battlefield fighting. Where the fuck were you for the last 600 chapters? Honestly. Really? Was this something to hide? It makes no sense. Anyways, let's get over the headache. Moving on to Naruto Fails of the Week, Week 79, Chapter 613, Head. Yeah, I really don't understand it either. Now, there really are only three things I really want to talk about in this chapter, so I'm going to keep it short, but I think they are worth discussing. And the first is the Jubi's evolution or maturity. It's actually changing shapes and becoming, you know, something different. And I do enjoy change, and as I said before, I wasn't really impressed with the look of the Jubi, so hopefully something will be more interesting. Unfortunately, no. It looks like a very poor excuse of a Pokemon. It's got, um, I don't know, this weird thing on its back that looks like uh, Ivasaur or like all those crab Pokemon and this weird skinny body that looks like, I don't know, Slenderman. It's, it makes absolutely no sense. And I don't like making fun of other um, artists that I really do respect and other manga cub, but this reminds me of the poor, poor designs for uh, Aizen by Kubo. They just were not impressive in the slightest, and this is horrible. People say that there's no such thing as originality anymore. I think there is stuff we haven't tapped yet, and there's always going to be, if not just originality, there's going to be how you rehash things and how you re-execute them. It's all about that execution. If you can execute it in a different way, in a slight alteration, it brings out this new 
I don't know, enjoyment out of it, this new fresh flavor, something to enjoy and sink your teeth into. Kishimoto can't even do this much, and at the level that he's at as a mangaka, this is absolutely embarrassing. However, despite that it looks like a horrible character design, I must admit I'm impressed by the level of power. Destroying cities from a distance, just vaporizing everything, I am fucking impressed. I am impressed. Execution-wise, not very good, but the effect? Very, very good. I do enjoy that, just wiping out everything in his path. That's fantastic. Of course, this then leaves us with the final issue to discuss is Shikaku's death and, of course, with the other members of the Shikaku Choji somewhat alliance here, where they are all killed. I suppose a few moments of silence are in order to the dead and just to... Say that they've done an honorable fucking bullshit. Yeah, right. They're going to come back next chapter. They're not dead. No one dies in this series. Are you kidding me? I mean, come on. Let's compare it to other series. Bleach. I know technically Bleach ended for us a long time ago. But they're killing people left and right because it's a horrible war with really strong opponents. At least that makes a bit more sense. In this case, man, we're all immortal. Let's fucking forget the demon gods. They're nothing. Let's make the average human immortal. Ha 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 ha. Oh god, I hate this series so fucking much. Anyways guys, that is the end of the episode. I do hope you enjoyed that. I don't know if you could. I don't even understand. Okay, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that to a certain amount. And I hope you guys will be waiting for my future content. Not only now to the fails of the week, but other stuff. Manga reviews, video game reviews, or whatever else I can come up with. Along with a couple of discussions about, I don't know, future projects. And maybe even a Q&A. So if you have any ideas, write them down. Because I will be looking forward to that. This is Darius Blue saying, Ceylon, and keep enjoying the fails. See you next week.